Good morning, how are you? Hope you're all well. Welcome to another live in Costa to Guise. Now, if you're watching this on YouTube, remember it's a catch up. If you're on TikTok this morning with us, you're coming with me on a mega walk around Costa de Guise. And we've started at the other end. The last time we walked down in that direction, today we're walking from the Radisson Blue, which is a beautiful hotel. And we're gonna walk down in this area here. We're gonna see the bars and restaurants along this side. And then we'll cut down, down to Playa Bastion. We'll walk all the way along the coastline. We'll come back up through the Gran Teguise Playa, I think, if I'm getting this right. And then we'll have a look, or good look all the way around that area there. So we've got loads to see. Costa de Guise is a nightmare to do these things because it's not one sort of road. So anyway, let's go. We're live, come on. All right, let's have a look. I stand at Santa Rosa across the road, yes. That's right over there. So what I'll do, I will walk over towards Santa Rosa, actually. Let me just make sure I've got the right setting on this camera. Yep. So I'll walk over um, Santa Rosa way and show you the restaurants over there and the bars, because there's a few over there, and then we'll walk back on ourselves and see the other ones as well. What's Costa de Guise Gardens like? It's lovely. I've done a video there. Will you go past Los Sacos? Maybe not today. I'm waiting to do a video in Los Sacos. Um, I would usually sneak in, but I know the manager there. And I have asked her, and obviously they're very busy, so she's like, look, I'll let you know as soon as I can. So I'll definitely get to do a video in there. I just don't want to sneak in. I'd rather just do that one um, properly, because I know someone that works there. Um, so there's the Radisson look. The Radisson's gorgeous. I'm gonna have a little look inside. I won't take you through to the pool, in case reception go mad, but we'll see. Look, let's have a little look. So look at that, brand new reception, all sparkly and new. Hola, can I have a look at the pool? Perfect, the, these guys are good. We're on live. <laughs> We're live on TikTok. See, these guys are good. They let me come and have a little look at the pool. Happy, it's you, I know you, you're all right. <laughs> I'm just gonna have a little sneaky peek in there. Yeah, let's check this out, look. So this is the Radisson. Shame about the clouds, but look at this. It's gorgeous. Wow, look at that. You've got all the uh, balconies over there. You've actually got three pools. I'm not going to go all the way down there. And there, that big dome tent is where they do all the entertainment. And then they do breakfast and everything through there. It is gorgeous. It's brand spanking new. It really is, it's just been done out. I'll come and do a proper tour of this. I have done a little video on YouTube, but it was early doors when it opened, so I'm gonna come back on a nice day and do a proper video. Thank you very much. Thank you, bye, bye, bye. There you go, a nice staff as well. Look at that, how nice they are. Some of these hotels just kick me out. <laughs> the Radisson, no, the Radisson, no. Is Mrs. Travel on up? Is she out of bed, Smithy? Is she out of bed? Um, so next door to the Radisson as well, look, you got this restaurant um, and it's gorgeous inside. I think it's an Italian restaurant. Sesto Ses Senso, it's called. And it's open to the public. The weather's not bad. I'm in shorts and t-shirt. It's a little bit muggy today um, and a little bit cloudy, but apart from that, we'll be all right. And that cloud should go. Remember last Sunday at this time, it was like that. So there's your like Italian restaurant, look. You can see in there can't really see with the reflection but it's lovely italian that's open to the public so if you want to go in there you can i'm just going to do something with this that's better camera was a bit there so over the road look as somebody said you got santa rosa uh have you been to blue bay not yet or maybe i have i don't know i think i did a tiktok on in there so you've got santa rosa over here that's another uh nice little hotel and um, there's a little bit of timeshare in there as well, I found out last time I went and had a look in there. Um, but it's a really nice place. It reminds me of, um, it was just really cosy. It was really cosy. And then, um, so in this area, this is a completely separate area. This is what I mean about Costa de Guise. It's so spread out that there's all these different areas. So you've got a sports bar here. Obviously it's closed at the moment. Mind you, I thought they'd be open for breakfast. So you've got a sports bar there. Um, you can get all your cigarettes and alcohol. You've got an Indian restaurant called Spice. Uh, what else you got down here? You've got the Fisherman's, Fisherman's Inn, which is like a bar restaurant. 
And then this one's quite a popular one, Cavern Bar. This is quite a, like a British place. They're open for breakfast, look. Now serving from 9am, special please ask. Uh, they've got bingo and stuff like that. So that's like very British bar there. Um, and then you've got this place here, look. Now this is my favorite Chinese restaurant on the island, my favorite buffet restaurant. Um, but there is a new one that's opened in Arecife, which I have to try. It looks amazing. It's massive, but like the Primark, I'm going to wait for it to calm down a little bit. But this buffet restaurant, now I did send somebody, Debs, who watches the channel, and she said she didn't enjoy it, but I love this. Me and Jack love this place. If you get here like early when it opens and everything's fresh, the, the food is really, really good. And how much was that buffet? I didn't see the price of that. Um, see if it's gone up. So it's $15.95 um, in the day and $16.95 in the night. <laughs> so it's a euro more in the night and 7 95 for children and children are four to ten okay all up to or up to 130 centimeters i mean come on so what they're gonna do that is it gonna be like getting on um is it gonna be like getting on the log flumes at alton towers you got a bloody height chart what's that as just in case they eat a little bit too much <laughs> but the big one in arecipe that's opened um it looks immense and i'm definitely going to go and try it and that's really cheap it's about the same price as that but you get a, you get a drink included or drinks included i think can you go to los Sacos? not today i can't but i will be doing a video there i'm just waiting for somebody to give me the go ahead will you be doing a review in the italian restaurant i doubt it i doubt it maybe there's so much i need to do but it's just finding the time to do it you know um, the hotel videos go very well you guys all love to see the hotels you all love to see the restaurant reviews and stuff like that but there's only so much time that I can uh, sort of do it so I sort of the hotels are easy you see I, I mean I'm out and especially if people show me around um, I, I just did the H10 white sweets and Keith and Nikki showed me around so they're easy for me to do because I'm in out I shake it all about Whereas the meals, oh, I have to get there, I have to eat, I have to film it, I have to edit it. So it's quite difficult, but I will get as to as many as I can. Um, but the last thing I want is the channel to turn into sort of a foodie review channel, because that's just not me at all. That's not what I'm about. Uh, is there a shopping centre close? Well, you've got the open mall that's in Arecife, that's not a far. Morning, Neil, thanks, mate. So Neil's there getting the discount code out there, TTK. So if you want to book any excursions, it's excursionslanzarotti.com, travelon.world, and uh, you can head over to the website and get booked up. Boat trips, guys. I went on one yesterday um, because I need more seats on boats. Boats are full. I cannot get you on the Sunset Cruise until the 1st of July. So you need to be booking your boat trips in advance. If you're coming over and you want to do a boat trip, you have to get your boat trips booked in advance. Otherwise, you ain't getting a boat trip. It's as simple as that. It really is. Decline. Um, it really is as simple as that. So you go to the website, go to the boat trip section. All your boat trips are on there. The Sunset one is the most popular at the moment. Um, and... You can book that, you can use the code TTK, you can get yourself a discount, you can book it in advance and you're rocking and rolling. Anytime after that, if you arrive on the island for, for uh, less than two weeks, chances are you won't get a boat trip. So there you go, Dickens Bar, that's quite a famous one. That's been there years and years and years. Um, you've got another one there, Bianca, little hairdressers and a couple of empty ones as well. You got Divine India. Got all flowers around there. That's quite nice, isn't it? That looks nice. And then Isla Bonita. This is like typical uh, Canarian food. Very popular with the um, with the Canarians. Look, it's been here since 1987. Isla Bonita. Definitely a Spanish restaurant. That look. There you go. So that does like all your real sort of Canarian food. If you fancy a bit of Canarian that's worth it and then you've got heroes here heroes is fabulous uh, definite british bar does all your breakfast does all your food 
Uh, you've got breakfast, you've got sandwiches, you've got all your sports on, jacket potatoes, all sorts of stuff in there. And that's Heroes. That's a great little place that is really popular. Oh my God, been there. What's Hotel Sirocco like? It's basic, but it's nice. Yeah, look, there's a little uh, estate agents here. There's a couple of estate agents on this row. Let's have a look how much the houses are. 225 grand for a two bed, one bath, 67 meter squared. That is ridiculous. That one's reserved, 125 grand. God, four bed, a four bed, uh, four bed apartment, 292 grand. I tell you what, prices are not going down in Lanzarote for the houses. Certainly not going down. If anything, they're going up. And apparently, people are buying. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. You got Hammy's here, Hammy's Grill. That used to be down on the seafront, so they've moved. And you got another estate agent here, Lanzarote Investments. So the only downfall to this place, look, is uh, the floors here. Look, they could do with being relayed because they've all come apart. But good for taxis, look. Good for taxis, not like Playa Blanca, which is a bit of a nightmare for taxis. But lots of taxis in this area here. So we're going to head down here, look, because apparently there's a shortcut down here which leads you right down to the beach, I think. I hope. <laughs> if anybody's been costed a geese before, if I go down here, will I come out by the seafront? Morning, Chris. It's mostly cloudy at this time. Yeah, it's always cloudy at this time. Well, sometimes, but mostly cloudy at this time. So down here should take us down to the beach. I don't know what area this is, whether it's residential, holidays, but I always see people walking up and down this road here. So I'm gonna have a look. So this is the apartments player bastion. So these are like, um, I think a lot of people live in this area. I live there, beach right down there. Cheers, mate. <laughs> uh, what's the weather like in March? March is hit and miss, but it's usually okay. I mean, we're an, all year, we're an all year round resort here in Lanzarote. So, but it's hit and miss in March. Sort of February, March can be a little bit up and down. But apart from that, it's usually great. What's transport like from resort to the mall? Really easy, really easy. I, th I suppose if you've all seen the Primark videos, <laughs> Primark opened on Friday. We went down there, Mrs. Dravelon did a haul and the video's gone there, oh, semi-viral. It's done really well on YouTube. In fact, if you put in there uh, Primark Lanzarote in Google, my video comes up first, which is great. Um, so many memories. Is the cocktail bar still there? What time do the clouds go? Well, we'll see. We're on for a good couple of hours, so we'll see if they go. I've got the other phone with me as well today, so if I do run out of battery on this one, um, I can switch phones quite quickly. So we should be all right. Do you think we were like Costa de Guise, we normally stay in PDC. It's a completely different feel in Costa de Guise um, to PDC. Whereas PDC is all one area and one road. Um, Costa de Guise is very spread out. So we've just done one area. Now we're heading to another area. Then there'll be another area and another area and another area. So there's lots to explore. So I suppose that's good in a way because you get a bit of a change. Is it hot still? Yes, it is about must be about 21 22 degrees at the moment shorts and t-shirt all the way um, and we're rocking and rolling so uh, can you do a video of san antonio yep i'll get there soon don't worry um sands resort is a lovely too yeah sands beach is nice that's up for sale if anybody's got a few million um it's uh well it's, i think it's going into liquidation i'm not sure but it's up for sale anyway anybody's got a few mil they can buy Sands Beach. <laughs> uh, staying at HD Resort in July. HD Resort's nice. Sands Beach is run down. Well, it could do with a little spruce up in places, I guess. But then some of, some places can. It's hard when it's an all-year-round resort. It's hard to keep these things ticking over. Like if you go Ibiza, that closes for the winter. So they have the time to do everything up and make it all look nice. But in the Canaries, everything's open all year round. So when do they make the adjustments? They can't, can they? So that's why some places need a little bit of TLC sometimes. So the only thing they can do is close. What's this place here? Right, we're going through this door. 
where are you? I don't know, Katie, I'm just asking myself the same question. I'm down at Playa Bastion in Costa de Guiz. I've never been down this, pla this area before. So this is new to me and I've been here 20 odd years. So there's a nice walkway look, a bit like Porta del Carmen, which you can walk all the way along the coast. Um, I haven't passed the Melia yet, but I should make it that far. And then you've got a lovely little beachy area here, look. Let's go and have a little look. So this is new to me. Never really ventured down this part before. That's really nice, look. So this is Playa Bastion, which is a little beach. Seems quite popular. Uh, sort of a mixture of sort of black and sand sand. <laughs> and the views are nice. And you've got these little coves, look. They're quite good, aren't they, to come down? Look, you've got these little covered coves. So you can sort of grab your towel and get in there. My only, my only thought with that is, <laughs> and that's, a, that's only because I'm male, but I wonder how many people have walked home drunk and had a wee up that wall, and then you all come down and put your towels down. But that's just my, uh, <laughs> that's just my thoughts on that. I don't think I'd want to sit in that little cove because that's a great little wee spot if, you're, uh, if you've had a few too much to drink and you're on your way home. You could dive straight in there, couldn't you? <clears throat> Even the ladies. Morning, you're right. <clears throat> um, right, let's have a look. So we've got the runners out again. Same as imported Al Carmen and Playa Blanca. Thanks, Kat. Uh, no, I don't like sand, Mark. I just felt it in my toes. I was getting me out of here. Um, Areza Los Abiscus, is it good yet? Yeah, that's in Puerto del Carmen, nice place. Um, what else we got? We're coming next June, can't wait, fabulous. Are electric scooters in PDC? No, they're not back yet. I wonder if they're in Costa de Guise, because I haven't seen one. And you'd imagine them down here, wouldn't you? So let's see if we see the electric scooters in Costa de Guise. If they're not, they're all in Playa Blanca. Playa Blanca is overrun with scooters, it's ridiculous can't drive can't walk can't anything for these bloody scooters and i don't mind scooters in general the people that are getting to and from work in fact i even bought jack one the other day so he can go out and about this summer holidays but he's got his helmet i've taught him how to use it and he isn't just dumping them in the streets you know this is the problem they're all dumped in the streets everywhere uh, coming back in october going to blue bay in Costa de Guise, fabulous. I worked at the Ficus, Ficus is nice. Uh, let's have a look. Same as the weather gonna be nice, it should be. It's cloudy today. We're going there in August, HDB. Yes, HDB is nice. Can you review Sands Beach? I will do eventually. I will get in there. Let me put my glasses on so I can see what I'm doing. So there's a little restaurant down here, look. Villa, Villa Toledo. That looks nice, like a bar sort of uh, bar restaurant place with beautiful sea views. Look, they got a barrier down, so I can't sneak in. But I could just cross over the bloody road. Uh, I could just uh, hop over that wall, couldn't I? So I'll do, I'll do it. So there we go. So she's just getting set up for the day, but it looks nice, doesn't it? Look, Villa Toledo restaurant. Nice views down there, over the sea. If we come back this way, we'll pop in and have a look. What's the food like? Oh, they only do food. Uh, well, not they only do food, but they only do uh, small things like breaded burgers, chicken wings, canary and potatoes. Prices look really cheap, actually. That's not bad at all. So it says restaurant, but maybe that's maybe this is the snack bar. Ah, this bit is the snack bar, look. And then the restaurant's downstairs, overlooking the sea. So that looks nice. What we got over there? Another place up there to Geese Purple, whatever that is, little playground there for the kids. So there's lots going on. And I'm just getting my bearings as to where I am. That's not been a bad walk, actually. Because we're coming up now, I think, to the Grand Tagizi Player. That's a nice little shortcut, that is. I like this walk. Player Habilio around the corner. My swimming pool. <laughs> What's H10 like? All H10s are brilliant. We're staying in Player Blanca. Great, you'll have a great time there. So let's have a look, see where we are. 
So we're sort of at the back back end of Costa de Guise now. And I can see the Grand Tagizi player in the background. That's that sort of beige building. And you'll get a good view of that as well. You can actually walk all the way to Arecife from here, really, if you really wanted to. You could walk to the open mall. It'd be a bit, it'd be a bit of a walk, but you could actually do it easily. Sun will show it. Yeah, sun, sun will come out midday for sure. Very cloudy today, though, in the mornings. But it was last Sunday, wasn't it? And then it was roasting by the time I finished. Moyes in Playa Blanca, 69 days, fabulous. Is the Lanzarote Beach Club still there? I think so. Lovely views down here, look. And right outside the Tagizi player. This is brilliant. I've never walked this way before, so this is great, because this is gonna take us right into town. Morning, Ents, man, how are you, mate? You all right? Oh, look who we got, who we got, who we got. We got plenty on, look, 725. Um, coming to Gran Castillo. That's busy, busy, busy down here. Costa de Guise, Lanzarote, that's where we are today, yep. That's right. How's your morning? I'm absolutely shattered, but good morning, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. <laughs> good. Happy and you. Now called Sands Beach, I used to work in LBC. Morning. Uh, what's Blue Bay like? Blue Bay's lovely. If I can get up there, I'll get up there uh, today. I don't think I will, because I'm sort of doing this area. So these are lovely little coves down here, look sort of off the rocks if you like a bit of fishing you could get down there we'll just go for a swim might be a little bit dangerous i don't know but it looks good to me and then this is the start of the grand Tagizi player one of the biggest hotels in costa de Guise. one of the most popular as well i've heard it's great i did a video um of of, uh, of here and somebody showed me around their rooms and stuff and they said everything was beautiful but the food wasn't too good and I had a look in the restaurant. I mean, it was look, it looked okay. The food looked nice, but there wasn't much variety in there. So I think that's a bit of a downfall of that hotel. When is Elba video going off, Rebecca? <laughs> it's in the back of my mind always, that video. It's took me bloody ages, but it's, it's going up this week, promise you. It'll be up before Thursday. I've even done the drone. I've even sent the drone up. I've seen a room in there. I've gone and filmed the food in the restaurant for, um, for breakfast and dinner. I've sent the drone up. I mean, you couldn't get much more of a Elba video. So it's going to be worth the wait, I hope. Um, what video is up today? On the YouTube channel. So guys, if you're on here and you haven't gone to the YouTube channel, head over to YouTube. It's travelon.world. Uh, make sure to subscribe and like all the videos and stuff because on there I do all the longer videos. And the most recent one that's gone up today is Keith and Nikki showing me around the H10 White Suites Boutique and that's a really nice hotel you'll enjoy that video it should be up on TikTok later on but it's always a shorter version if you want to see the longer versions of videos then the YouTube is the one so please make sure to go over and subscribe to that because I do make a little bit of uh, a little bit of money on the YouTube one you don't make money on TikTok uh, but the YouTube obviously they put the ads on don't they so when you're watching the videos I might get 10, I might get 10p or something. <laughs> but it all adds up. It all adds up. So there's a the Grand Tagizi player look. Massive. Look how many rooms are in there. It's huge look. Goes all the way from there. All the way over this way. Massive place. We're going to Secrets in July. That's beautiful, Katrina. Me and Mrs. Travelon got married in Secrets. It was called the Hesperia then. So I'll see if I can see, see if I can get you in a little view over at the Grand Tagizi player. You're just coming up to something, a stadium there. You anywhere near Radisson Blue? Just started at Radisson Blue, Spencer. I just went in there actually. You missed it, Spence. You gotta be in it to win it, you gotta get up early. But I'm heading back that way, so maybe I'll maybe you'll see it again. Right, here's a well here's a lovely beach look. Gorgeous beach here, look. We're on the balcony of the player, give us a wave. Give me one second, I'll turn around. See, there's a lovely beach here. Gorgeous, look at that, crystal clear waters. And it's warm enough to swim, look, so it can't be that. Right, somebody's waving, I can see ya, I can see ya. All the way over there, look, giving us a wave, look there. I'm zooming in, <laughs> I'm zooming in. 
there on the balcony look <laughs> they're watching from the balcony that is so cool so there you go look how big that is huge somebody sunbathe in there look <laughs> Look at that. So it's a big old pool and you've got some VIP beds over there. There you go. Are you near the HD hotel? No, but I might head up that way. Let's see. Let's see where this where this takes us. You all right? <laughs> so there you go. There's people out. Look, see, so there is cloud, look, but there are people out. There's plenty of sunbeds being reserved. Look, loads of towels down there. Tut, tut, tut. Tut, tut, tut on the towels. Oh, so you got, um, I mean, stones throw from the beach, look, out the back door and you're there. What hotel is this? It's a Grand Tegeezy player. Where is this? Costa de Guise, Lanzarote. So that's where we are today, Costa de Guise. So it's a Grand Tegeezy player sort of situated right slap bang in the middle. Um, and I really enjoyed walking this way. I didn't realise you could actually walk so quickly from that one area where the Radisson Blue is down to here not took long at all any good restaurants there there's loads does the weather feel different uh, yeah the weather's fine i mean shorts and t-shirt it is very gray but it's still hot look everybody's in shorts and t-shirt nobody's there uh, nobody's got jackets on there you go that little native diving place there and a fish spa bloody hell didn't realise they still had them around and fish bars where you stick your feet in them. Ten euros for 40 minutes and the fish will nibble all the all the dead skin off your feet. <laughs> no thank you. Have you done a video of the Refurber Player Club? Not yet, Ryan. I'll be heading in that direction. Maybe later today. Um, I need to go and have a look at that splash one as well. But I don't like doing videos when it's cloudy. Because uh, it doesn't show the hotel off very well, does it? So I prefer to do it when it's nice. But there's another couple of there's a little sort of apartments here called Neptuno and um, just up in this area and again right opposite the beach and they've got a restaurant as well something del mar la taverna del mar that looks very nice and we're right by what's here the galleon player hotel which is just over in that direction there and the galleon player is quite a popular place again look you can see the apartments of the galleon player sort of up and over there's um, some bars and restaurants in this area as well so we'll have a little look at the galleon I maybe won't walk in there let's see let's see let's see but they won't be as nice as the staff in the Radisson they were great weren't they there's a couple of little bars and cafes down this area actually that you would miss sort of on the back streets little supermarket look Hippodino that's handy And the galleons here look so the galleons perfectly located i think it's a three star i thought i think it's sort of basic accommodation oh i can't go in there look it's a tiny little reception but i will sneak in there soon don't you bloody worry about that don't you worry about that so what else we got around here we've got um some other things going on look Hopefully that cloud will shift and the sun will come out. There we go. So this is like another little place, look. You've got um, a little cocktail bar there. Nice little area. This is quite a lot in this area. Um, some different bars and restaurants. Um, this area could do with a little bit of a, a facelift because if, when we get to the top you'll see all the new places and I think if this did the same as what the new places did it would look uh, a lot better but you've got Oceans Bar there very very popular look plenty of people there Oceans you've got uh, another restaurant here called Restaurant Habana this used to be called something else, I can't remember, Galleon, Galleon restaurant. Um, so that looks like it's changed hands. So it's restaurant Habana Tex-Mex. And you've got another Chinese buffet up here, which I'll show you, because it's actually quite nice um, and cheap as well. 
very cheap probably the cheapest Chinese buffet on the island um, we'll see if well it was it was last time I went because I'm cheap <laughs> food is amazing though uh, you near Eric's bar I think so yeah yeah the Eric's bar's here look so that's beer that's busy yeah look Eric's bar full English breakfast two eggs 4.95 look at that bargain breakfast two eggs bacon sausage hash brown beans and tomato 4.95 and it's popular look because people are there enjoying a brekkie there's lots of people look that's eric's so that's very popular little arcade next door as well always popular with the kids they love a bit of that and then this is the Chinese restaurant, I said, which is the cheapest. Uh, it's called Golden Corner. They do... Well, they've put sellotape over there. That really annoys me, that look. I mean, if you own a restaurant, come on. <laughs> Don't just stick, stick horrible sellotape over there. You've got to keep things looking nice, haven't you? So we've got um, adults, 10.95, children, 5.95. So... That's not too bad. That's cheaper than the other one, which was 16 up by the uh, Radisson. But food is a lot better up by the Radisson. And they haven't stuck gaffer tape over the sign. <laughs> so what else we got up the top? Look, you've got uh, like a Canarian snack bar. You've got lava. Mrs. Travelon's hounding me to go to the new one in Arecifa. Yes, we will be going there soon. I don't mind a Chinese buffet, I'm happy with a Chinese buffet. Easy, easy food, in, out, pick your stuff, sit down, eat it, gone. Eat as much as you want, don't have to make any decisions, don't have to decide what you're gonna eat. You just sit your bum down, you stand, back, you stand up within seconds of ordering your drinks and you've got your first plate in front of you, bang, done. Buffet all the way. There's Saxo's, yeah, Saxo's, is it still called Saxo's, Ents, man? Um, or is it called Valhalla? I don't even know if it's still called Saxos. Oh, there is a sign up there that says Saxo, so yeah. That's a long established bar restaurant, that, isn't it? Well, it's not even a restaurant, is it? I think it's just a bar. Um, you miss the Indian. Let me turn around. Oh yeah, there's an Indian there as well. And then over there's another place. So over the road, you've got another little square. So this is the problem, but it's not a problem. There's a problem if you're going bloody live. But this is the thing with Costa de Guise. In Porto del Carmen, I just walk straight, don't I? Whereas in Costa de Guise, it's like cross the road, go to this bit, go to that bit. Go past Oasis Lands, that's up there, isn't it? I will do. So you've got another Chinese restaurant on this side, which is a buffet as well. Never tried this one. But I reckon that one in Arecife will be the the one see this one's 11.50 oh no this isn't the buffet look this is like off the menu so you can have like three three dishes for 11.50 three dishes for 11.50 i don't know i think i'd prefer a buffet because i can get a full buffet for 10.99 across the road so here you've got the shamrock um you've got the plaza bar which is usually open by now oh that's been refurbed by the looks of it. So they're closed at the moment. Looks like they're doing either doing it up or they've closed. I would say they're probably doing it up because it's quite a it's quite a successful shop. Not many pat shops. No, not many pat shops. That is one there, but it looks like, like I said, that's closed. It's not like the pat shops to be uh, to be closed, to be honest. So uh, they must be doing something up there. You've got the Oceana just over there. And then you've got the oasis on the other side but we will go and have a look and then let me cross the road and then over this side look you've got two big hotels you've got the bee live costa de guise beach which is there and there's a couple of places in this area as well there's a spicy affair indian restaurant and there's also the Barcelo to Giza Beach, which is adults only. So you've got the Bee Live on that side and the Tagizi Beach on that side. And you can actually take a shortcut down to the front here, but we're not gonna 
and then in this area here again all spread out you've got something there which is i think is a beauty shop you've got the two hotels and then you've got that restaurant there which is up for sale if anybody fancies a restaurant look you can buy that one not a bad location right next to two hotels but if they're all inclusive hmm maybe not how far from costa sale miles costa sales in port del carmen los Socos sophie's the other end i don't think i'm going to make it there today maybe i will i don't know we shall see uh port del carmen now we're in costa de Guise today so we've done like nearly th what, two or three different places already haven't we and now we're going to another place another center of bars and restaurants it's all over the gaff it's so spread out so here shops shops and stuff all around here um they should be open in a bit i would have thought in about half an hour here's the first pat shop look these pat shops up and up and running very early look you can get your genuine fake hugo boss bags they're nice actually little shoulder bags north face it's not bad 5.99 look for a bit of north face bag some great key rings <laughs> and a load of tat actually this one's like one of them dodgy uh dodgy uh, fake designer stuff that's not bad actually nike adidas you got adidas bags and then you got the uh oceana apartments here look through there that's only a small place so i ain't sneaking in there today but i will go and have a look what's your favorite hotel there not really sure um i'm not really sure to be honest i don't know costa de Guise as well as it as well as porto del carmen and there uh, and playa blanca so i'm not really as clued up i've not stopped here i like i like los arcos for sort of a an overall um hotel that suits everybody and then obviously the melia is quite a good one i wonder if that's back open yet Another pack shop. We get a Lanzarote coffee mug, look. 250. 250. It comes complete with sand and dust. <laughs> uh, what else we got here? Another Chinese buffet. 13.50 and 6.55. It's like Chinese buffet central around here. They love a Chinese buffet in Costa de Guise. There's the oasis, look, somebody said walk past the oasis. There's the oasis lands, that's another hotel. Uh, very popular that one, loads of people stop there. Now I can hear people screaming and shouting over there, so I, what we'll do, should we go that way? No, uh, we'll come down here. So, like I said, this is the, the modern part of the bars and restaurant areas so this has all been done out so i reckon that's what they're trying to do by the plaza bar and they should do down in that area as well because look it's gorgeous down here everything's so modern look it's got all these beautiful bars and restaurants all really modern and then a tat shop <laughs> you know i hate them shops they look horrible they look horrible i know you lot like browsing but look look at that you've got beautiful shops there look at that modern shop and then you've got that crap just stuck slap bang in the middle i wouldn't mind if they made it look nice but they don't they just whack anything out stop that the last suckers love them tat shops i know catriona yeah <laughs> What's the weather like in Lanzarote early December? It's usually nice. Love a toot shop. <laughs> there you go, lovely Mexican restaurant there. And there's the Fun Grube look. Now that's a shop. Look, that's a shop. Look how beautiful it is. Look how lovely and modern that is. It's gorgeous. That's what I like, I like to see. What was that? You keep saying modern like it's a good thing. Yeah, it is Wayne gotta move with the times mate bloody hell and, and and i also say keep it traditional but a tat shop is not traditional lanzarote is it do you know what i mean if it was a lovely little trinket shop that was all traditionally decorated then crack on but not all these lovely restaurants here and then that crap right in the middle of it <laughs> you love a bit of groove dave i do do love a fun groovy look 
There you go, look. So Fungaroo Bay, big sail on. And you'll know the Fungaroo Bay from the yellow elephant. So there is the yellow elephant. Boom, there. So all these have their how far are you Club Sirocco? Quite a bit far, but let's have a look in here, see what the sails are. Look, this is a shop, look, lovely. Oh, do you know what, it smells so good because you've got all the perfumes and stuff. So you've got 20% off all your glasses, look. Oh, look at that. I went to HM Rubicon Palace three years ago. Why is it so expensive? The world is so expensive. 30% off footwear today, look. I need some new trainers. Look at that, you've got loads of stuff in here. Sketches, 39.99 for Sketches, that's a bargain. Well, I might have to come and have a look at them, look at them, walking Sketches, how much are them? Don't know, Mrs. Travelon went and spent in there, uh, went and spent in, in Primark, didn't she? So I should be able to come and spend in here, I reckon, get myself some trainers. Might have got holes in. <laughs> Love Bluebells Bar, yes, Bluebells Bar, I think we'll head that way. El Patio's lovely, yeah. I think we're gonna go in that little square in a minute. Um, in fact, let's do a little square now. Let's do a little square now. So, before we head down to the beachway, look, there's another little square. So you've got crepes and waffles here. No money left after Primark Hall, Dave. No, there isn't, Mark. And then this is the little square, look. So the little square comes in here. Um, so you've got a little Italian there. What northern accent is that? Birmingham. <laughs> Birmingham, brummy accent. There's El Patio, everyone raves about that place. Never been, but apparently it's great. And that's like Italian and grill. So that's like an Italian. And this square is beautiful. At night time, it's all lit up. I uh, love the trees look. So this is a really nice try. Mayo was there. Great restaurant, El Patio is beautiful. It's lovely around here. So you've got Hook Cocktail Bar here. There's Bluebells, look, somebody said. That's a Scottish bar, no? <clears throat> Bluebells, for sure, that's a Scottish bar. Um, Opening hours 11 till late every day at Bluebells. El, Pes El Pescador. You've got Island's Eye. Oh, apparently the lady that I interviewed outside, um, outside Primark either works there or owns that. <laughs> she was lovely. Or as Pat tells me, it's Primark. Oh, it's pennies if you're from Ireland. So there you go. Uh, you've got the Snug. You've got another little restaurant there. Um, underneath this little bandstand, they do music and stuff, and you've got the Snug Bar just underneath there. That's always very popular. And Chispas. That's another one, yeah. Somebody just said that. Alfie calls it pennies. <laughs> I think Chispas is just there, no? Sort of tapas. And then through this area here, look, and this will bring me back out and then we'll turn back round and go back down that, um, that other shop. Kind of overcast this morning, it is indeed. Um, so you've got some shops in this area here. That way leads you sort of out onto the main street and there's some more bars and restaurants over there as well. Um, and then again, it's like a little maze around Costa de Giza. It's one of them places you have to go and explore. Can you do it in a week? You probably need a couple of weeks here. Because you've got another little square here, look. With retro bar. Um, you've got Jester's up the top, which is like a karaoke bar. You've got another sort of big barbecue restaurant and steak grill there. Um, and I don't know where this is going to lead us out to. So you've got barbecues there. Look, that's quite a nice place. That's done out really nice, isn't it? What's that called? Four Seasons Rock Cafe. Not heard of that. I don't know whether that's new. But they do look... That burger looks nice. Look, American burger. Got Big Bob's upstairs. That's a Big Bob's Cafe. I've heard of that one. Um, open from 12. And then let's go this way and see where this is going to take us. Keg and Kilt, brilliant, fabulous cocktails. Yeah, like I said, Costa de Gui is one of them places you're going to have to explore. You're going to have to get out and have a little nose around because, like I said, it's all 
it's all over the place, literally all over the place. I don't even know where I am. I'm going to go down here. So you got, oh, this is the uh, casino. So these are always cheap for a coffee. You can get a coffee down here, look. And it's like a little gaming casino and things. And that brings us back out, look, to where we started coming down these nice, this nice area. So we'll head down to the beach, because this leads us right down to the beach bar. Um, where's the old dog and duck? I have no idea. Um, coming in two weeks in November, Grand Tegeezy Player, we just passed there. Da, 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 da. There we go, look. Love a Tex-Mex, bit of Tex-Mex there. So all the sales are on in Lanzarote as well. It's sort of sales time, look. There's 50% in that one. I'm gonna have to have a little nose, then I, at some point. <laughs> Maybe I'll go to the open mall and have a look around Primark today. Being as I never got to have a look last time. I was doing too much filming. How'd you walk so well? Uh, what do you mean, Wayne? <laughs> you mean without the camera moving? I've got like a gimbal which keeps it straight. So there's Fun Gribby again. Uh, Mr. Trevor, I'm jealous. Many excursions from Costa de Guiz. Every excursion picks up from Costa de Guiz. Are you going to Barcelo Active? No, I'm not. So yeah, if you're in Costa de Guiz and you want to book excursions, again, you can visit our website, travelon.world, excursionslanzarote.com. You can use the code TTK because you're on this live um, and you get a small discount. And all the excursions will pick up from Costa de Guiz, either, either directly at your hotel or your accommodation or just literally like two minutes away. So there's like set pickups, like big hotels and stuff. It's about 30 minutes from Rancho Hannah. So there's a pickup included from here. Restaurant El Maestro is nice. There's the lighthouse, look, that looks lovely. 4.90 for breakfast, look at that. And a posh sign. There you go, you can't beat that, can you? 4.90 for breakfast and a posh sign. That's what you need coming down here thanks Neil uh, where's the cheapest place to hire a car for two days in resort not sure I always go to um, lanzaroteinformation.co.uk and Mike and Julie will personally find you a car and um, they go and go out there and do it for you so I'd, I'd contact them I think there's a contact form on their website uh, what degrees is it it's uh, about 22 at the moment and this is bringing us down to the beach so what we'll do we'll walk down here we'll walk down the front here because there's loads of bars and restaurants down here and then we'll walk up towards the melia sands beach and hd beach see what that's going on and then we'll walk back along the front um and back towards where we started i guess so down here look you've got sabor cafeteria so a little cafe here So there's a few people out and about here. <laughs> and you've got Namaste Indian on the corner. That's meant to be quite nice. So I've heard. I've not been there. But I've heard it's a nice Indian in Costa de Guiz. Possibly one of the best. I don't know. Has anybody eaten there? Cashless payments in Lanzarote. What was that about cashless payments? Oh. Do taxis have cashless? Yeah, I think all the taxis take card now. They've, 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 they've come up to the times now. Morning Dave, how are you? Great, Greg, how are you, mate? Uh, I've been there, it's amazing. Best adults only roast dinner around the corner. <laughs> adults only roast dinner? Why is it an adults only roast dinner? <laughs> uh, let's have a look. There's the beach bar and there's Namaste, look. Namaste Indian. Is this Tenerife? No, we're in uh, Costa de Guiz, Lanzarote. So this is a nice place. Great place, look this for sort of cocktails, drinks and stuff. And look at the beach, overlooking the beach. Beautiful down here. And this has all been done, all the floor here has been done. Where we started when I said that the floor's a little bit uneven, all the way along here has been done. So I'm hoping they're gonna do the other side where we started, because that could do with a, a little uh, mend at some of the roads. You've got the Melia there, the big Melia Hotel. We'll walk over there and have a look. Surf wings, that's right, great for a cocktail. Coming over to play a blanket, Alba Premier. Video going up this week of the Alba. Full video showing you everything. So make sure to go over to the YouTube channel and subscribe to that. Um, 
and you'll be able to see that. You've got the beach bar there, they've got a webcam in there somewhere that you can check out. How far is Viticlass? Viticlass is quite far from here. Staying at the Alba Premier Suites at the moment, hope you're enjoying it. Beach Bar has a webcam on YouTube. Yeah, I thought so, Mark. Um, there's Walk, which is a shoe shop. That's the same or owned by Fun Grube, but they just do the shoes in there. La Paradella, little restaurant there. Are there any supermarkets? Yeah, there's a, plenty of supermarkets around. Behind the Beach Bar is Be Live Hotel. Yeah, we just had a look at that. You've got here sort of uh, ribs and stuff like that. That looks nice. Hennessy's is a great place for breakfast and they're so nice in there. There you go, Heather. Just coming up to Hennessy's here. There's Hennessy's look. Not very busy at the moment, but I think people get up late in Custard de Guise. Further around the corner is the ice cream shop. Oh, Hennessy's Hennessy not open yet. I think most places open around 10 in Custard de Guise by the looks. Good morning, you're right. There's a few shops here, yeah. So I think, unlike Porta del Carmen, when we do the lives in Porta del Carmen, everything's open, isn't it? Costa de Guise, I reckon, is one of them places that opens a bit later. Perhaps like um, Playa Blanca, there's a lot of hotels where people are having breakfast in the hotel. Um, whereas Porta del Carmen's very self-catering, so people get out and about early doors, don't they? The waterfront, that's another big one. Where is this place? We're in Costa de Guise, Lanzarote today. The Irish Bailey's back open. Last time we came down, that was closed. They're getting ready for the day, look. They do all your breakfast and stuff. Uh, the Irish Bailey again. Bloody hell, that's a big place, isn't it? That stretches over two or three of them. And then you've got the Dolphin and you've got the Cutty Sark as well. So these are English. Cutty Sark's open for breakfast, look. So that looks nice. And then Bahia Beach, look, and that leads you into the Barcelo Tagizi Beach Hotel. And then the Barcelo Tagizi Beach Hotel also has like a sports bar there called Champs, um, where you can watch the football and stuff like that. And there's a little bit of shopping up there, and that'll lead you back up to the other end as well. But we're going to head over towards that hotel, the Melia, and see if it's ready yet, because it was being done up. Uh, someone asked if anywhere that does yoga, Dave. Uh, yoga, I'm not sure. Um, no, I've not. I sometimes see adverts popped up for yoga, but no like special places that do it. There's some people like that just do like on the beach and stuff. Um, but no, I don't really know about the yoga. There should be loads of places. Though. If you just Google it, I would have thought you'd find somewhere. Thank you for answering. No problem at all, Tiny. Uh, they do quad bike tours. Yeah, quad bikes they stopped doing. And they've closed the quad bikes at the moment because there was a few accidents on them. They're quite dangerous, so they've stuck to buggies. Buggies, not too bad because obviously they're built differently, whereas the quads um, can be a little bit more off-road and, and wobbly, I suppose. Uh, whereabouts are you now? I'm in Costa de Guise, Lanzarote. Uh, do I have to go all the way to play for quad bikes? Yeah, I think so. We don't do quad bikes anymore, so I have no idea who's doing them at the moment. We lovely beach area, look. There's the beach, really nice. Going to Nazareth Soul with two nine-year-olds. That's nice, Nazareth's nice. Um, coming in November, can't wait, fabulous. La Paradella, there, look. <laughs> Hello, you all right? <laughs> Got a bit of Madonna for the walk, for the morning, look. What's the best restaurant in Casa de Guise? Not really sure, mate. I have never don't really eat much in Casa de Guise because I live right down the other side. Do you know the level of the refurbishment at the Melia was? No idea, but I'm sure it was, I think it was huge because it's been closed for a while. We're heading that way. Let's go and have a look. Is it worth visiting from PDC? Um, you want to have a little day out and have a look Lil you can do um, there's nothing more in Costa de Guise that you would find in, in Porta del Carmen um, going the other way would you go from Costa de Guise to Porta del Carmen yes probably because you've got things like the Biosphere Shopping Centre you've got the outdoor cinema 
you've got the big Jurassic crazy golf, so you've got a little bit more in Porta del Carmen. Whereas coming from Porta del Carmen to Costa de Guise, apart from the aquarium, which is nice, um, there isn't that much of a difference or there isn't anything extra that you would not find in Porta del Carmen. But if you want to come and have a look, it's well worth a day out for sure. Um, now, I don't know if I'm in the walking lane or the cycle lane here. I'm really not sure, but I'm walking in it anyway. Um, yes, I know the Ficus, that's a nice place. Playa Blanca good, yep, yeah, Playa Blanca's lovely. Is the water park still open? Yep, yeah, Costa de Guise water park's open. And the one in Playa Blanca, I am definitely in the cycle lane. <laughs> but I'm, I'm, I'm sticking to one side of it, so I'm not in anybody's way. But I think that's the walking lane up there, look. <sighs> So you've got the cycle lane or the scooter lane, one of the two. Right, let's get on the path. So this walk, this walk takes you all the way along the beachfront as well. Would you look around a private villa in Playa Blanca? I would if you invited me to look around it, but I can't go, I can't just go and have a look around any a random villa. But if you want to invite me down, I'll come down and have a look if you stay in there. Drop me a private message. Have you passed Ultra Bowl? No, not yet. Um, what's a re what resort is the busiest in Lanzarote? Probably Porta del Carmen. Um, are you Lanzarote or Tenerife Lanzarote today? I'm off to Costa de Guise in September. Fabulous. Do you have many roaches in your home? No. Only the kids. <laughs> um, let's have a look. Coming to BDC January. For fabulous. Uh, Danny, yeah, definitely. Drop me a message. Drop me a private message. I'll come and have a look. I thought you wanted me to go and sneak into somebody's private villa and have a nose. Um, I'm there on Thursday. Can't wait. Brilliant. Um, I'm going to work in Lanzarote in five months in Hotel H10 Princess. Brilliant. Oh, fabulous, Senna. I know a lady that works in there called Nadia. Uh, so I'm sure you'll be working with her. She's nice. Um, Bacchus restaurant coming up soon. Yeah, fabulous restaurant. I've heard that actually. Pescaria as well. Pescaria, which would suggest they do fish there. Uh, do you know where Club Tahiti is? I do know where it is, but I don't think I'm gonna get there today. But there's some nice restaurants down here. Look, and look at the view. A lovely view. I do like this walkway that they've done all the way along the coastline. It's really nice. Are you near Radisson? No, I started at Radisson, so I've come all the way down the other way. What's the nicest club to go in out to? Uh, probably Arecife, who's got the main sort of party clubs. All right, what we got here? So we've got cocktails, tapas, snacks, and you've got some other little restaurants through here. This is lovely, look. Right on the beach front as well. Bacchus restaurant, Flintstones Rock Cafe, look. Great, this is nice. There you go, look. Bacchus, Flintstones Rock Cafe, and then you've got Aquatis Diving. So this is a diving centre that we use. So if you want to go diving, if you look on the website, uh, travelon.worldexcursionslanzarotti.com, um, we work with that diving company there. They're fabulous. And there's a nice guy called Sam that runs everything. And they do great diving there. And they pick up from uh, Costa de Guise, um, Porta del Carmen. And if you book it in Playa Blanca, they come down and do the diving down in Playa Blanca. So it's ideal. And if you use the code TTK, you get yourself a cheeky discount as well. So what else have we got in this area? Well, let's have a look. Uh, Alex Book just saw you. <laughs> Hello, Alex, mate. Did you walk past me in the square and you were looking at your phone? I did see that somebody was watching a phone. You should have grabbed me, Alex, and said hello. All right, let's have a look. Oh, what else we got down here? So, what some water sports activities and things like that. Got some more of these little exercise places look little climbing frame and a beautiful little walk down to the beach here 
that's a nice little beach and there you go you get a lovely view there of where we've just walked from as well another little square coming up there's bloody hundreds of little squares isn't there I've tagged you in a video of amazing fireworks at Costa Calero. Fabulous. Oh, private dessert. I tell you what, there's bathrooms there. So you got, uh, well, that's one thing that I haven't seen in Puerto del Carmen or Playa Blanca, and that's public toilets. That's a good thing. Because there's never any public toilets around you always have to dive into one of the bars or restaurants and then if obviously if you're not eating or drinking in there you feel you feel bad so <laughs> by the time you've gone for a wee you've had a four course meal <laughs> not far from sands beach clean toilets too are they glenn i might have to go in there i'm dying <laughs> i might have to pop in there on the way back i've only ever stayed in port del carmen will i be disappointed if i book costa de geese um i don't know amanda I wouldn't think so. It seems like a nice place to me. Depends what you like. Costa Gui's got loads of stuff. I mean, you know, lovely views. Look at that. You can't beat the views. Apart from the bloody clouds today, which is ruining everything. Uh, what's Club Santa Rosa like? Club Santa Rosa, Santa Rosa. Yeah, lovely. Santa Rosa. We started, we started there. Um, we started our uh, life from just by Santa Rosa plenty of these little scooters you can rent as well it's like Benidorm isn't it uh, I'm really prepared going in the oven I'm already prepared mine's just gone in the oven so another little square let's have a look in here look so this is a lovely little square as well and there's loads of stuff going on in here again it's a shame it's not open um, but when we do the lives in, in Costa they do seem to open a bit later but by the time we walk back they'll all be open so you've got a little restaurant here, um, which looks nice. La Chimenea, I can't even pronounce it. Got some live music here, look. Don, so Don Somon. Oh, this is a Robinson's cocktail bar. So you've got a big cocktail bar here at Robinson's. Best place, buzzing later on. Yeah, he's buzzing down here later on. You've got number one in Costa de Guiz, look. Very popular. They do all your cocktails and stuff. Hola, 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 bien. So that's popular. Look, that's open early doors. Got a few people there. And you've got another Indian. So that's the Namaste has moved up here as well. So you've got two Namastes now. So it must be good if they've opened two. And then in this little square here. Oh, that looks nice. Look, look at that meat in the window. Beautiful, we do all the dry age meat there. I bet that's quite expensive though, the dry age stuff. So you've got a little supermarket. And then inside there, there's a little shopping center. I won't go in there, but um, outside's gorgeous look. And there's another Chinese restaurant just on the corner there. And that's like, it's like a buffet, but it's not a buffet. So you order plate by plate. Yeah, I've got to show you the menu here, look. So you order plate by plate. So I like this one as well. We've been here, food's dead fresh. This is called the Beijing look. Price is 15, I think, 15.95 for adults. Um, and it's like all them dishes there and you just order them one at a time and they bring them out fresh. So it's like an all you can eat buffet that's not a buffet. And it's just there. Oh, it looks a lot different to when I came. It was a bit run down last time I came. That was ages ago, but look, it looks like they've done it up. It looks quite nice. There you go. So that's the Beijing. That is a good place. And there's Pat's favorite places. <laughs> Costa de Guise Gardens Hotel. Ben, um, I can do, yeah. Costa de Guise Gardens just opposite. Maybe I will. Um, Go on, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll walk through and show you the Costa de Guise Gardens just for you, Ben. Just for you. And I can show you around that area as well. Come on. So we'll go through there and then we'll walk back the other way as well. Ben's going there tomorrow. Come on then, Ben. Let's have a little look. I wonder if he'll let me use his look. Excuse me. 
Would I be able to use your bathroom? Yeah, Is that all right? I'm just going to put this here, okay? Yeah, no Don't worry, we're live on TikTok. No. <laughs> right, guys, I'm just going to nip the loo, look. I'm going to point you there so you can watch everybody walk past. Don't worry, it's not filming yet. You're all right. Thank you. Right, we're back. That was nice of them to let me use the loop. Get yourself down this place if you come to Costa de Guise. Seems very popular anyway, look. It's called bar number one. There you go, look. Is that you? <laughs> I was just using the loo. <laughs> How you doing? I'm coming to say hello. You've been watching me in there? Yeah. Good job I turned the microphones <laughs> off when I went to the toilet. How, how's your holiday, all right? Yeah, it's great. Yeah, where are you stopping? Um, we're Sands Beach. Sands Beach, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's that way, isn't it? I, am, yeah. I might get down there. I might get down there. What are your names? Louise. Louise? Savage. Marie? Yeah. Savage. Perfect, Thanks. fantastic. Say hello to everyone, look. Hello. See you later, enjoy, enjoy your breakfast. Thanks. See you later, bye. How funny, they're watching me blooming nip into the toilet at bar one. <laughs> What's it called, bar one? I don't, number one custard of geese, looks fantastic. And they let me use the toilet, get in there, give them some support. <laughs> give them some support. I'll tell you what, it was the smallest toilet I've ever been in though, and I've got a big bloody backpack on, I could barely fit in it. Right, let's have a look out on this street here. Oh, look at that, we've lost a few followers. Uh, Savage morning. Right, so Ben wanted to see the, the H10 Gardens, didn't he? So come on, let's go and have a little look at that. Like I said, it is so complex to do a live in Costa de Guise. So you've got the Los Sacos over the road here. I will take you and have a look at that. And then we'll walk down that way towards the, uh, the Costa de Guise Gardens. Because I tell you what, there's a place here called Bomb Bombs Cafe. Mrs. Travel On swears by it. Uh, she keeps banging on about it. They do waffles and pancakes and ice cream. And I'm like, yeah, whatever. But every time I go past there, it's rammed. So it must be good. So we'll see if we can see that as well. So let's go. Let's cross over here. There's a local bus, look. If you want to get a local bus. Nice, friendly bus driver. <laughs> That's going to Porta del Carmen, the number three. The number three to Porta del Carmen. Is there any shops markets over there? There's a big market every Sunday called the De Guise Market, which is not far from here. Don't be confused with the Costa de Guise. It's a Cadiz. Dave, you could easily walk to Sands. I could easily walk to Sands. Do you want me to walk to Sands? It's not far, is it? Go on then, we'll walk past Los Sacos. We'll go past Los Sacos, we'll go past HD Beach. We'll, we'll have a look at Sands Beach and then we'll come back and we'll have a look at the gardens then, okay? Um, so there you go. Also small market. Yeah, where the square was, there's a market there on a Wednesday. A lot of people think that's the Tagizi market though. They get confused. It's not the Tagizi market, it's massive. Right, so we're going to have a little look at Bomb Bomb Cafe now. How long have I been walking for? Never 69 minutes. Jesus. What city are you in? I'm in Port uh, I'm, I'm not in Port Del Carmen, I'm in Costa de Guise. So this is Bon Bon, look. Mrs. Travelon's right. It's rammed. I mean, you've seen how empty places are. There's queues out the door here. Hello. Are you Tim? Oh, yeah. No, Dave. Dave. No, 
You're talking of walk with me, Tim. Yeah. No, I'm Dave from Travel On. From Travel On. Yeah, you're all right. You have, yeah. You're on here on holiday. Yeah. Where are you yeah. stopping? Uh, we're in Fisker's apartment. Any good? Yeah, it's really good. Fabulous. No, I'm not Tim, but I know Tim. Yeah, I know I Tim. Know, so I watched your TikTok live. So yeah, there you go. Here. You're live on here. You're live on here. Hello. Say hello. What's your name? Holly. Holly. Lovely to meet you, Holly. Have you been here yet? Not yet. Not Apparently, yet. it's popular. Look, it's busy. It? Yeah. yeah. It is. Have a lovely time. You Enjoy too. the rest of your bye. holiday. Bye bye. Holly thought I was walk with Tim. He's got one 100,000 followers. I wish I was walk with Tim. He's making a fortune, that bloke. There you go. Look how busy that is. Rammed. Always, always, always busy, that place. And it's right next to the Los Sacos. Well, I tell you what, if I'm, getting, if I'm getting compared to walk with Tim, I'm very flattered by that because that man has done so well on YouTube. He's got 100,000 followers. He must be earning an absolute fortune. He just, all he does now is travel around the, wor the, wor the world. What we Dave, here's, here's Los Arcos. Look, I won't go in because there's lots of people. A big old reception area there, look. And then you've got the supermarket just here. There's the Melia opposite. That doesn't look like it's got any further um, with development. And then you've got the big supermarket here, which is ideal if you're stopping at Las Sacos. See if we can see the melee, we can't. Rob said strolling with Dave. <laughs> I ain't strolling, am I? Rolling with Dave, that would be another one. Rolling. So these guys are definitely waiting for the bus to the Tequiz Market. Let's see if we can see what they're up to. I can see my little other camera batteries going, so I'm gonna have to get the charger out in a sec. But this is also the Los Sacos here, look. So you've got the, enter um, the entertainment's place there. And then this is the main bus stop. So it's a big, big bus stop for all the excursions and stuff. They all pick up here. So this is the main pickup point if you're booking excursions. Good morning, you all right? Morning. You off to the market? Yeah, yeah see, off to the market, fantastic. I am TikToking, yeah. You. Have you? You've been watching, fabulous. Where are you stopping? Uh, Los Sacos. Any good? Lovely. Oh, lovely. I'm gonna get in there and do a video soon. Have a good time at the market, all right? Don't spend too much. And always haggle, always haggle. <laughs> See you later. I told you they were going to the market, didn't I? There you go, Mrs. Travelon's on it, isn't she? She was taken out on her bloody nice boat yesterday. That video's on its way. I tell you what, she's loving me out and about. I get out of her hair on a Sunday. I'm walking around here. I give her some peace and I get to take her on like boats and stuff like that. It's great. She's in the, having the time of her life. And she gets an excuse to go to Primark because I need to go and do a video. So we've got the HD beach here. Entsman sending me on a bloody mission here. It's your fault, Entsman. So we've got HD beach here, which is lovely. So this is a big, big hotel as well. Um, and then that's next to the Sands Beach and then Sirocco opposite and then we'll walk back, back down the other way and show Ben the H10 Gardens because the poor bloke's been waiting ages. <laughs> so there's the HD Beach and it's right next to the beach, literally. We've got the beach that way. We'll just get over here. So you can see it's quite a big place. And then I'm just gonna just gonna scoot round here and get the charger out of my bag. And you can see a little bit more of the HD beach, and then we'll have a little nose in Sands Beach as well. Like I said, Sands Beach is up for sale. So if you've got a couple of million, you can buy Sands Beach. And if there's anybody watching that's got a couple of million, please get in touch, drop me a message. <laughs> Drop me a message, right, let me just put you down there a second. Just gonna grab my charger out the bag. Oh. There we go, there we go, there we go. Some motorbikes coming this way. Oh. Back on, back on, back on, back on.
All right, let me get plugged in, guys, one second. Da, da, da. Right over. We'll just use that one. Someone's beeping over there. I don't know who they're beeping at. It's definitely not me. Oh, it looks like they're breaking into the bloody thing. <laughs> right, that cloud has not shifted, has it, guys? That cloud has not shifted while we've been on live, which is disappointing. Maybe it's just this area. Um, further north you go, maybe it goes cloudier. Because Player Blanca, well, ask Mrs. Travel On. Mrs. Travel On, what's it like down there? Is it overcast in Player Blanca? Because this is the difference, you see. People say, what's the weather like? And then Player Blanca's really sunny, and then up here is cloudy. Or it could be the other way around. Disappears after 11, usually, Dino, doesn't it? It does, yeah. Completely grey down in Playa Blanca as well, so we're not having a good day today, are we? Morning, you all right? Yeah, the weather's no good, is it? <laughs> See, they know, look, they know. They're like, it's not, they're not bad yet. It's not sunny yet, but it's early doors. Sat in the sunshine in the UK, oh my gosh. I remember when they built the wooden roof. Oh, no. Hence man's having a conversation about a wooden roof. I don't know what that's about. Let's have a look. Um, so, here we go. Sands Beach. Sands Beach, Sands Beach. So, my good friend Rosemary used to work here, bless her, and she passed away um, not so long ago, actually. She went back to Ireland and uh, passed away quite suddenly um, so it always reminds me of Rosemary there she used to love this place and she used to work in the reception and do all the all the excursions but we do miss Rosemary on the island so this bus here look is going to Graciosa um, that's we sell this one so that's Linus Romero we work with them and they'll be going to either Graciosa or the market today and Graciosa is an ideal place if you want to do a boat trip from Costa de Guise Graciosa's ideal. Um, but Sands Beach is like a bit of a sporty resort. You can see, look, maybe they're not going to Graciosa actually, but there's like a, a club there. Look, let's dive in here, look. I'll see if I can show you around. So it's very sporty in here, look. They do all like the, um, the sporty activities, the marathons and stuff like that. So they do a big marathon. They've got like a big sort of studio down there, look. It's called Sands Beach Active. It's a very sport orientated and they've actually got like an Olympic sized swimming pool as well. So it's a big old place. And that's where Rosemary used to sit. Look, there she is, bless her. There you go. That's nice. Dear friend Rosemary, gone too soon, but never be forgotten. That's fantastic that, isn't it? So that was my friend Rosemary. Morning mate, you alright? And then I'll, I'll have a little sneak outside while I'm here, why not? Got the, yeah, somebody asked about yoga, they do it here at Sands Beach, I've just seen a little sign. Oh, I ain't going too far out here look, because there's loads of people look. But we'll have a little sneak and just see what we can see. I'll show you the map. My daughter stayed here, fabulous. So there's the map, look, you can see how big it is. And it's all different blocks. So all different blocks with there, with little pools. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six pools. There's a big Olympic style pool as well. And the accommodation look is like these little bungalows. So you've got little bungalow accommodation. And I'll just show you one of the pools, look. And that's one of the pools there, look. So you've got a pool area there. Nice. And a little accommodation there, look. So there you go. If you're stopping at Sands Beach, there's a sneaky peek, but I better get out. Morning, you're right. I better get out of here. Plaza's, Dave. I don't know where Plaza's is. I'm breaking the rules coming in here with this big camera set up. Usually I come in with a tiny little thing that nobody sees me, but I'm being 
been naughty today because of you, you Ents man, sending me all the way down here. So you got all the sports stuff look on the wall. Loads of sports memorabilia. All this sort of stuff, all the Iron Man stuff. Right, let's get out of here before I get in trouble. Reception are too busy to see me. I'll go around this way, silly. <laughs> let's get out. Ensman's gonna be. They're called plazas, not blocks. Plazas, ah, right, okay. Put you onto me to go to a plaza bar. Plazas, well, blocks or plazas, whatever. <laughs> There you go. Right, so opposite here as well. So opposite Sands Beach, you've got Sirocco. God, we were on a bloody hotel tour of Costa de Guise this morning, aren't we? So Sirocco is very basic accommodation. I think it's only a two to three star, um, but it's meant to be quite nice. Um, but again, it's one of them places. You, I did a video in Puerto del Carmen of the Aquarius. No, the Bellevue Aquarius, and that was basic accommodation. And Sirocco's sort of the, the equivalent of that. So, three star. Um, it's a adults only. So it's an adults only three star. So I'm sure it's nice. I can't get in there because it's really small. But it's just there, look. I'll see if I can see. See in reception. Let's have a little nose. See what we can find. So some people getting the airport back, look. There we go, Club Sirocco, look. Little three-star adults only. I'll get told off in a minute. She's on the phone, I thought she was talking to me. Let's have a little look through. Right, I'm going to be quick in and quick out here. So there you go, that's lovely look. Little pool area. That looks actually really nice. I'm going to have to come back and do a full video here, but it actually looks really nice look. A little restaurant there for breakfast. Fabulous. There you go, Sirocco, adults only, three star. All right, let's get out of here. Boom. Good morning, you're right. There you go. And somebody said there's another pool. I'm sure there is, but I ain't, I ain't going on a mad walk today with you lot live. <laughs> What I do with the hotels is I've got a smaller camera that's like really small, so I, I head into these hotels with a small camera and uh, I get to see a, a lot because nobody knows what I'm doing. Yeah, if they kick you out, say your name's Tim. <laughs> I'll give him his, his YouTube channel. 100,000, he's on. 105,000. He got one of them uh, YouTube silver plaques. So if you're not following me on YouTube, you lot, make sure to get over and follow me on there because I want one of them plaques. I'm a far, far away from 100,000. I think I'm on, I think I'm on 6,000, nearly 7,000 actually. I reckon we could make it to 7,000 today. And we could make it to 70,000 on TikTok. We're not, off, we're not far off 70,000 on TikTok. So let's go get back past Los Socos. We'll walk to the H10 Gardens. Then we'll come back down through the Kacharis and back down there. I don't even know the time. What time is it? Anybody tell me the time? Have I got 70k on TikTok? Yeah, hey, <laughs> we've reached 70k. Brilliant. I thought we might today. That's brilliant news. 10:20 is that all? Oh, plenty of time then, haven't we? Plenty of time. The camera for you for the YouTube is about to go by the looks of it. Um, so I might lose you on YouTube for a little bit, but we'll come, we'll come back in a minute. Like I said, what I do is I film it on YouTube, so you can catch up on anything that we've seen today that is uh, recorded in 4K for YouTube. I don't bother going live on YouTube because 
the quality is dreadful. I am going to do a little test this week and do a live YouTube from Playa Blanca and just go for a walk for half an hour and see how it looks. In the city way fish. Uh, let's have a look at what else we got here. What's going on? So we're heading now towards the Los Ocos area um, and to show Ben the H10 Lanzarote Gardens because that's a nice hotel. I've done a quick video on that, Ben. I'm sure it's on TikTok somewhere, mate. If you have a look on there. Thank you very much, Sarah. I'm absolutely worn out. It's a bit of a strange resort to do a live. He's costed a geese. I much prefer, if I'm honest with you, Playa Blanca and there uh, and Puerto del Carmen to do the lives because there's more to see. Um, if you notice, the viewers are dropping off and then coming back and dropping off. Whereas in Puerto del Carmen, it's constant something to show you. Whereas in, 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 uh, in Costa, because I'm walking in places like this, people tune in and are like, well, what's that? Especially with the weather. So they tune straight out. Whereas when we're walking in Puerto del Carmen and Playa Blanca, it's constant things to look at. So that's why the lives do better. But you lot sent me to Costa de Guise yesterday. I did ask when I did a quick live and you all said Costa de Guise, so I don't mind but I won't be coming back here for a while on the Sunday morning lives. Um, I've done it twice now. So maybe we'll do it once every, every month or so. And I'll stick more to the areas where I know you'll get to see loads of different things. Again, as well, if I'm walking like along the beach fronts, like in Porto del Carmen, people tend to stick around more because they like seeing the beach. Whereas what am I looking at now? Nothing, it's just a, a path, isn't it? So. That's the problem with Costa de Guise and doing lives. Apart from that, it's a lovely place. Um, when you go back to Tenerife, you're live there with top draw. I need to get back to Tenerife, you know. I need to get back to Tenerife. There's a friend of mine uh, that came out here. Um, he's, called, <laughs> he's called Scotsman in Tenerife. And he's got a YouTube channel with like 50,000. And he's making really good money as well. He won't mind me telling you. <laughs> he's doing really well. Um, and he doesn't even live in Tenerife. But Tenerife is a bigger place. So I definitely need to get back over there. Do some more videos over there. Do some more lives over there. I think I might do that soon. There's Las Arcas again, look. Beautiful place, Las Arcas. It's all been done up. Now, I used to work at Los Sacos when I was a rep, and I tell you what, it wasn't a, uh, PB is the goat. <laughs> it wasn't very nice when I worked there, but that was in 2003. Um, it was terrible. There was carpet in the rooms and everything. We used to have a queue of people out the door complaining, but it's all been done up now. Look at Bum Bum Cafe. It's bloody rammed. They do big milkshakes, big, um, big crepes, big everything absolutely rammed always always busy <laughs> vamos pasa pasa si 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 habla inglés no yes you're the owner no this is your, this is one of the most popular places i've ever seen in costa yeah. de Guise. my what no. my wife keeps telling me that i have to go look at this place every time i walk past yeah, Spanish. We're so busy. We're live on uh, yeah. TikTok. Yeah, on TikTok. And um, the many Spanish people, Spanish, or yes, that's Spanish people. There's local people. So in the mornings, very busy. Yeah, I open just in the morning. I open just for the nine to four. Nine to four. Yeah, that's a good life. <laughs> well done, my man. Yeah. Well done. But I've heard yeah. fantastic things about you this. You need to come one day. I will. I'll come and speak to you. We'll do. Yeah. You we'll bring. Work. We'll bring these lot with us, yes. and we'll come and eat. Thank you. Thank you very See much. you later. Bye, mate. Bye. So there you go, look. Busy with the Spanish. Busy with the locals, he said. So, Missy, oh, look, Mrs. Travelon's having, an, having a breakdown now because she's like, yes, we'll come. We'll come and do a bloody video there. I like the way she ropes me into all these videos. I've got another one to do in Porto del Carmen. She's like, oh, so-and-so, so-and-so said to come and do a video at their place. She, all she does is sit there and eat and drink. I'm the one doing all the work. She takes all the credit, driving me mad. <laughs> but she'll be there saying, get to Bonbon Cafe, come on. 
dear me I don't mind <laughs> she's on a diet look I went there last year blue sea Costa Bastion was uh, lovely food not so great I heard that I heard that right we're nearly up to the H10 gardens now not too far and then we'll cut back through Kacharis and then we'll come back along the front for sure I don't know how long this battery is going to last in the camera but I've um, I got my other phone with me so if the battery goes we can swap phones quite easily and quite quickly and then we're going to walk back to the Radisson Blue that's a bloody walk that I tell you that is a walk uh, I want to move to Lanzarote get it done you only live once so here we go just cross the road here look so we've had a full, a full old tour, haven't we, today, of Costa de Guise. Are the scooters back in PDC? No, and look around you. There's no scooters in uh, Costa de Guise either. Good point. So the scooters have gone in Porta del Carmen and Costa de Guise, but yet they're all down in Playa Blanca. Great news. <laughs> Right, Ben, if you're still with us and you haven't given up, this is where you're coming on holiday. To the H10 Gardens, look. And it's beautiful. Now, I've got to be careful. Whoop. But we'll have a little sneaky peek in, look. Big family hotel, look, and H10. Beautiful. It's a lovely reception area, look. You've got the H10 whiteness going on and the pool is beautiful. But I ain't going in. I don't want to get in trouble with H10 because they actually let me in the hotels. So there you go, Ben. There was the gardens for you. And then straight out, look, you've got another big, uh, bus pickup here. So if you're stopping in this area and you book excursions, the pickup will be either here or at the Los Socos bus stop. And then there is another place, look, so where we came through there, there's another place further up there with some more bars and restaurants again. Another little sort of uh, line of bars and restaurants, but we're going to head back down onto the front and then walk back down towards the Radisson. Uh, morning Blonde, how far is the water park? The water park is about five minutes in a taxi. So if you book water park, so if you're in Custard of Geese, um, you need to get a taxi um, book tickets online with us um, enter the code TTK you'll get a small discount and you just get official um, water park tickets and you jump in a taxi it's five minutes up the road there's no pick up in Custard de Guise because it's literally that close if you're in Playa Blanca or Porto del Carmen you just book it with a bus pickup and the water park will come and pick you up from wherever you are and bring you up to Custard de Guise and take you back as well um, there is another water park in Playa Blanca called um, Aqualava, which is a smaller one, ideal for smaller kids. Uh, Costa de Guise is better for bigger kids for the water park, but it's older. Um, it's a nice water park, but it's not. It's no Siam Park, you know. If you've been to big water parks, big plush water parks, don't expect to go to the one in Costa de Guise and for it to be like that. It's quite old, but it's still nice. And it's a nice day out. <clears throat> yeah, it needs a Cyan Park, it does, Mark. I keep saying that. Lanzarote needs something big, but people don't like it. They're very, very traditional here. But in saying that, they're traditional in one way, and then they let all the scooters and all that out. I mean, it's sort of very, sort of, I don't know, it's very weird because. Here in Lanzarote, it's very much governed by Cesar Manrique, who was the guy that sort of developed and the designed the island. And I mean, you can't do anything because of that. But yet, they let other things pass and slide, which is a bit strange. And you think, well, I don't think Cesar Manrique would have liked the scooters. I don't think Cesar Manrique would have liked all the tat shops. I don't think he'd have liked that, but there you go. So you've got Surf Corner Cafe here which is a Dutch cafe or there you've got windsurfing school there look morning you're right 
and then you've got Aquatis Diving, which we said earlier, who's right next door there. German bar. German bar. Oh. Good German, right, if you want a German meal, that's the place to go, Surf Corner. <laughs> We've got main, we're mainly talking to English and Irish, but they can try a bit of German, can't they? Oh, there you go, he's English and he's sat in there. One euro? Right, one euro point in there, get down there. Surf Corner, you can't beat that, can you? So let's have a look, coming tomorrow, mate, fantastic, Jack. So you've got Bacchus Restaurant there. Flintstones is filling up now. See, now it gets more exciting because people are up and about. Um, like I said before, in Costa de Guiz, um, as well, I start the lives at nine, but nobody's around till about 10, half 10. So you've got Flintstones there, look. Flintstones Rock Cafe. And then Pesca Bar that we passed earlier. That's got a couple of people in. And there's some more people down on the beach now as well, look, getting ready for the day. So even though it's overcast, you'll still get a tan today for sure. And it's still warm, not very windy either, which is great. If it was overcast and windy, it'd be miserable. Are you but it's not that bad. Hey? Are you swimming? I'm not swimming. Uh, oh, streaming? Yeah. yeah, yeah, on TikTok. On TikTok? Yeah, say hello. <laughs> there you go, look. Nice little place there, look. I thought you said, are you swimming? I was like, no, not today, mate. Not any day. Right, there's Pesca Restaurant. Look, they've got a nice little terrace there. Beautiful. <laughs> and there you go, look, there's people getting ready on the beach. So it's still nice, and we follow the Yellow Brick Road down here. There we go, look. We're off. Off down the Yellow Brick Road. So this will bring us back to where we went through the front. So we'll walk that way. We'll go round past the Tagizi player again. And then that should bring us back up to the Radisson Blue. And I reckon we'll have enough battery in the phone to make it that far. And then I'm back. Not a bad, not a bad walk. UV of nine in Lanzarote, which is high warnings. There you go, you see. Doesn't matter if it's cloudy, you can still get burnt. There you go, the sticks are out. <laughs> Don't know whether they're walking or skiing them lot. <laughs> uh, there you go. What else we got? So there's a few people getting ready there. Look, some beds, some beds for rent on the beach. I don't know how much they are. Leave those sticks alone. I knew you'd be commenting on that, Mark. Mark likes his double sticks. Mark, don't, don't ask Mrs. Travel on, but I've definitely not got any in the, uh, in the shoe cupboard at my house. I definitely have not got any. <laughs> but that's only from Montana Roca. <laughs> right, down the steps we go. <sighs> right, where we are, we're going over here. So we'll come back down through the uh, bars and restaurants here. Hopefully a bit more action. There'll be a bit more, a few more people. Oh, it's beautiful down here. I really, really like the Costa de Guise area. It's not my favourite resort, as I've said in many videos. Um, but when you come down and sort of walk this way, when you walk this way and along the front and everything, you realise it is really, really nice. It's just in certain places, it could do with a bit of a facelift in certain places. Um, and that's when you sort of walk through and you see that, it sort of puts you off a little bit. But if you come and have a look at these sort of places, it's gorgeous. It's got surfers wings there, look. They're busy in there, look, lots of people. See if we can pick up some more watchers. People like to watch if they see something interesting when they flick on, when they're flicking through. What's your favourite resort? Playa Blanca. Because yeah. I live there. Then Porto del Carmen, then Costa de Guiz. Morning mate, you alright? There's the beach bar again. A few people in there getting... They do crepes and waffles and ice creams and coffees and juices and all that sort of stuff. What resort please? We're in Costa de Guiz. In Lanzarote. Uh, where is this? Costa de Guiz, Lanzarote. That's where we are today. 
See, look, I told you people are joining now, look, because I'm showing them something. <laughs> so what we got here, look, burgers. The paradella's open. We've got burgers, look, 7 95 Chicken burger, 6 50 That's not bad. 9 95 for the original gangster, look. I would definitely be going for an original gangster or a big popper. That looks good. That looks good. Definitely the original gangster would be my choice. Got all your ribs and stuff in here as well. That looks really nice. With your Jack Daniels burgers. Fab. Hennessy's bar. Can you head back towards the square now? It's open. I can't, Sarah. I'm knackered. I'm heading the other way. <laughs> There's Hennessy's. Look, Hennessy's is open. Look. People getting breakfast in Hennessy's. Popular place. So yeah, it doesn't start doesn't start kicking off till about ten half ten here then. Um, can you please hit the screen twice and give it a like? Oh, is that what is that how you get more viewers? You have to hit the screen. Right, everybody press that screen a few times and then all them hearts will pop up and then maybe more people will join. Is that how we do it? Is that how we do I don't usually have to do this, you see, because I've usually got like over a thousand people on Imported El Carmen. Because it's constant, like I said, constant people looking at things. Got the waterfront there, they're just getting ready for the day. That's a big popular place. Oh, that's working, look. <laughs> Keep tapping that screen. Is that why they do that on all the bloody lives? Tap that screen, guys. Tap that screen. Whereabouts are you today? I'm in Costa de Guise, Lanzarote. There's the Irish Bailey, look. Open for breakfast. They do all the sports here, look. So you've got the uh, Irish Sports, the GAA. You've got the cocktail lo loyalty card, five stamps, and you get your six cocktail free. There you go, look. Not bad, is it? What we've got menu-wise, homemade pies. Not bad, 6 95 for chili con carne, that's cheap. 9 95 for half roast chicken. Not bad prices, eh? Not bad prices tap that screen if you like the prices <laughs> there's a dolphin look English breakfast 550 that's getting busier and then Cutty Sark as well look so people are still having breakfast there fabulous that's good and then this is the entrance into the Barcelona de Gizzi beach which is the adults only so you, you can get through that way but then I did what I walked through the door once and I couldn't get back out um and then this is the champs champ sports bar this is really nice in there look that's open to the public so it's part of the hotel but it's open to the public and they do all the sports and stuff in there but i'll show you it's really modern really modern look there you go what languages can you speak i speak english and uh, a little bit of spanish not too much though there we go, look, so there's a few shops in that, that down here. Morning Dave, staying at the Barcelo, overlooking the power station last time we were there. <laughs> oh dear, is that a good thing or a bad thing? Um, there you go, would recommend moving there. Would you recommend moving over? Um, maybe if you can, if you can afford to sort of live, live for a year without any work, it's worth coming over and giving it a crack. If you're coming over and you need to find work and it's a lot it's very complicated all right come on let's go let's go let's go so we're going to head around that corner which will take us to morning will take us to the Tagizi player and then we can walk uh, all the way back along the front which is a lovely walk Go to Barcelo Tegui's Hotel in August, can't wait. It looks really nice, that place. It looks really nice. Um, I'll walk this way along the, along the... No, I won't. I can see the Grand Tegui's because I can get around the, around the side of it there. No, I will. I will. I'll go this way. I'll go this way. Quicker. Any updates on the refurb of Farionis? Yeah, it doesn't look like it's refurbed yet. They say it's going to open in October, but the other one's open in Porto del Carmen, the Baku Splash or whatever it's called. And that's another one that I need to get to. I was going to go today, but with the clouds like this, I'd rather not film, film a video showing a new hotel. Boogie Tours, yes. 
we work with these guys here they do all the buggies the speed uh, jet skis the donuts in fact alfie and jack and mrs Travelon went on that donut and they are the ones that own the uh, the boats as well the boat that we went on yesterday um so you can get all their excursions on our website travelon.world and excursionslanzarote.com and if you do the buggies they'll bring you to here and that's where you'll leave from so they'll come and pick you up and if you use the code ttk you'll save yourself a little bit of money because you've been on the live the boat looked amazing yeah it was nicola we're gonna i'm gonna edit the full video of it but it was a great day out and that was the thing with the boat so i said at the beginning of the video boats are a nightmare at, um, in the summer and we're not even in the summer and they're already a nightmare they're already driving me crazy um already everything's full i can't get you a sunset cruise till sort of saturday next week well sat well yeah saturday well yeah an, a week away it's ridiculous um so if you want boat trips you have to book them in advance you have to book them in advance now with us as long as you cancel within sort of 48 hours you can get your boat trip booked and then when you um when you come over if for example it's an overcast day or you know it's an overcast day in a couple of days you can always contact us and we'll change you over to another day you can't contact us like the day before because that's too late um but you can sort of say look it's a bit overcast can we change that's easier for us to change it than it is to book it because everything's chocker so this he's back on the main walkway I think I've come the long way to be honest so this walkway is the start of the walkway that we came through at the beginning of the video really nice views though look TTK is the discount code TTK there you go look beautiful view over there yeah but, but definitely Sarah I just said definitely book before you come because you're not going to get on otherwise they're full if you came today on holiday and you went home on Sunday I can't get you a boat trip I just can't get you one till Saturday and maybe you can do it on your last day but you need to book it in advance use the code TTK you get a discount and you're rocking and rolling and then you know you've got everything sorted so you can visit the website excursionslanzarote.com and travelon.world I don't know what they're building here look but there's some kind of waste ground here and that looks like a prison over there what is that place <laughs> what's that place there it looks like Alcatraz so I'm seeing where this leads us to it's definitely going to lead us back onto the walkway that we uh, had before and then back up player bastion and then back up to the radisson blue where we started no problem mate oh, <laughs> don't know what that place is there look it doesn't look very appealing does it but this is what i mean about cost of the geese you've got some lovely places but then these little un undeveloped places really spoil it and they really need in my opinion to get that sorted because it just gives a bad impression you know if you like like I said, I've loved walking down here and all the nice places, but if you're sort of just passing through and you see some of the horrible places and that's your first impression, you're not going to book Costa de Guise, are you? I mean, if you arrived in Costa de Guise and that was your view, especially with them clouds, you're going to be like, well, I ain't happy here. Um, so that's why I think they're doing well. They've got some really nice places, but they really need to sort out the rest, the little places. And there's quite a few sort of derelict buildings around here as well like unfinished hotels there is in Playa Blanca as well but they're sort of out of resort so you don't tend to see them yeah it has been like that for years it has indeed and the graffiti yep so yeah they really need to sort that out but at least they've made the step in getting rid of the scooters which is good for me <laughs> that's a step in the right direction unfortunately I saw a bloody truckload of them being taken down to Playa Blanca We better speak to Oscar Noda, the mayor, and say, Oi, sort them scooters out in Playa Blanca, please. She's at Live Resort, which you're going past. Yeah, I've been to Beelive. Um, what is this, the Beelive? 
It doesn't look nice from the side, does it? It looks nice from the front, though. Oscar Noda has put loads of money in Player Blanca. Yeah, he's good money he's making off the scooters. I must be paying him a back under. <laughs> right, so we're coming up to the Tagizi Park. Ah, oh, this is the back of... This is the back of the beach, yeah. Looked horrible from that end, but it is a lovely hotel. But I don't think you'd be want to spend... Get, you'd be gutted if you're in a room looking over that waste ground, though, wouldn't you? Maybe they're not rooms. So there you go. Oh, I know where we are. Right by Neptuno as well. And look at that. I mean, look at that beach. That is gorgeous. Terrible day's weather, though. Terrible day's weather. But look at that. Beautiful. Look how big that hotel is, look, Grand Tegeezy player. Is it worth hiring a car? Yes, Steve uh, Spencer, it's worth hiring a car to get and see places like this. So you can go to Costa de Guise, you can go to Porto del Carmen, you can go to Playa Blanca, you can go to like Famara and the little villages and stuff like that. Parking on the island's a bit of a nightmare. And if you want to go and see Tim and Fire and some of the attractions, you'll be waiting in quite a long queue, especially peak season. So you'll pull the car up at Tim and Fire and you'll be waiting hours while all the buses go past you. So I always say, if you want to do a tour and see the attractions, you're best off booking a, booking a coach tour because it just saves you a bit of time. You get a guide on board that tells you everything. And if you do the short south, you're in out and you're back home. Well worth it. Look at the crystal clear waters down there. Now that is what it's all about. No one could say that that is not nice. There's people swimming a lot, people snorkeling. Beautiful beach. And that's what I mean. When you've got gorgeous areas like that, the other areas that are, that are um, all graffitied off really do spoil the place. So hopefully they'll sort that out, because I know Porto del Carmen's getting a, a bit of a facelift. Playa Blanca's, you know, that's always sort of been quite a newish resort anyway. Um, so luckily we don't have that down in Playa Blanca. So hopefully Costa de Guise are doing the same and just like modernising it a little bit and sprucing it up a bit in some of the places. But I mean, this area doesn't need anything, does it? It's gorgeous. Are you in Costa de Guise? Yes. Clear in Bristol, bloody hell. <laughs> so right over there, look, is Arecife in the cruise terminal. Right, right in the distance. And then that's where we passed earlier which was where all the bars and restaurants were and the galley and player. So everyone's got, look, everyone's sat there in their sunny UK. This is why we've not got many people on today, guys. Firstly, it's Costa de Guise and we're, we're, we're going past some bits and bobs that are not as nice. And secondly, usually you lot are sat in the rain, all in your duvets thinking, I am not moving today. I am staying in, it's cold. I'm going to watch this overweight brummy show me the sun. <laughs> and I'm walking around showing you derelict, derelict buildings and the bloody clouds. So no wonder we haven't got as many as, uh, as, many as we usually do. And there's the Tagizi player, look. 24 in Bolton, bloody hell. Well, you're doing better than us today, but it's still nice and warm. It's just overcast with the, with the cloud, look. Still people on the beach. And what a beach. Oh, I say it every live, don't I? You know what? I really do have to get sat down on them beaches. They look so appealing. And then I, then I change my mind quite rapidly. There you go, look. That's a nice life, being a lifeguard. And there is the Tagizi player, look. There's people in there. All having a sunbathe. Big, 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 big pool area. But people are sunbathing. Although it's overcast, like uh, Nicola said, the UV index is really high. Um, and you, re you will get burnt and you will get tanned for sure. Hot day in Nottingham. Beautiful hotel, one of the best. Yeah, it's a nice place. Nice place indeed. Hi, oh, yeah, you're right. Hello. <laughs> <Hola. laughs> 
<laughs> How much are the meals for kids now? Um, not sure which way, which way you're referring to. Um, so there's the back gate of the of the Tagizi player. You come right out there, you're on the beach. Fabulous. And we're heading this way, look, because this is where we started by player Bastion. We go there to get in here, indeed. November's really nice, Sarah. The only sort of months that are hit and miss for weather is February, March, and uh, the 25th of June, 2023. <laughs> and them are, the only, them are the only times it's hit and miss for weather, for sure. God, there's people out there having a big long swim look they're right far out them lot <laughs> 30 degrees yesterday bloody hell you got better weather back home than here that's why we've not got thousands on today everyone's out enjoying the sunday in the sun in bloody england and ireland and scotland ridiculous i'm jealous <laughs> Clouds until 1 p.m. and then highs of 28. Yeah, usually. I don't know whether these clouds are going to clear today, Nicola, to be honest. I really don't. I reckon we're in for a cloudy day today. Who knows? Morning, mate. You're right. We're off. We're rolling. Going to piss down in the UK today. I bet it does. It's, it feels like it's going to thunder here. I can feel. You know when it feels really heavy? Ben, I did go to Blue, to Costa de Guise Gardens. Or was it H10 Costa de Guise? Oh, Ben, I went to the H10 Lanzarote Gardens. Not the Costa de Guise Garden. That's bloody miles away, mate. Miles away. I thought you wanted the uh, H10 Lanzarote Gardens. Sorry, mate. Uh, the gardens is nice, though. But it's, uh, it's up the other end. It's not walking... Well, it is walking distance, but not for a, not for a live... I thought it was a H10 because <laughs> there's two gardens. There's the H10 gardens and the Blue Sea gardens. So when you were saying the H10, I thought it was that one because we were close. So what else we got? Well, I don't even know where we are now, but there's a lot of people walking around this area. So this leads us back up to the sort of Radisson Blue. So this leads us up to the player bastion which you can see ahead of us and the radisson blue there's lots of people walking along here nice little coast walk. i thought he was watching me then but he wasn't he was there uh, just talking to someone <laughs> i'm not going to rant about people that have their, their phones on full speaker or they're having a conversation walking down the road oh god really winds me up that really winds me up Bloody hell. Let's have a look. Is the Radisson Blue close to the shops? The Radisson Blue is literally there. So it's not too far from where we are now. I came past here when we first started. Just get a headset, exactly. Get a headset, I'll put it up to your ear. If you're on the phone, that's what phone's for. <laughs> I think they should just go back to just the phone in the house. Do you remember the phone in the house? That's all you had. You didn't know who was ringing. Phone would ring, you'd be like, who's that? Who is ringing? And you pick it up and it'd be a surprise. And they'd try and sell you double glazing, you put the phone down. That was it, that's how, it, that's how simple life was, wasn't it? It was much better. <laughs> but then we couldn't do these lives, I suppose, without technology and mobile phones, so we've got to be grateful for that. <sighs> Met you at McDonald's at 12. Meet you at McDonald's at 12. <laughs> I ain't going to McDonald's today, I don't think. I've got to stop eating, I bet crap this weekend. There's that restaurant that we came past earlier, look, the snack bar, and it's open now, so we can have a little nose in, see what the views are. Look, so you've got the snack bar there. That does all your snacks. And then the restaurant's got some lovely views down here, look. And it's a big restaurant on the terrace. 
lovely look just down there look and you've got a lovely restaurant on the terrace looks like it's got a pool down there as well but that'd be a really nice place to come for dinner just sitting there overlooking overlooking the sea fabulous hola and then this part here is like does like snacks and stuff throughout the day a few people just sitting and taking in all the views and then this is the player bastion this is where we started up just down in this area El Guarpa Hotel is so close on the right. Is it around that area, is it? There's some other sort of bars and restaurants up there as well. But like I said, everything's spread out, look. And they've got them little castles that you can walk up the steps as well. God, you'd be dodgy walking up them ones. It's got no barrier. The ones in Porto del Carmen have got a little wall build around them. I won't be walking up there with the phone, not with the camera. I'd certainly fall over. So there's the entrance to Player, uh, Player Basti in the here, look. And it's name, what's the name of that restaurant? Um, oh, it's called, I can't remember, drop me a private message and I'll, uh, I'll send you the name of it when I get up, I'll check the video. Uh, Santa Rosa on your way back. Oh, I ain't going in Santa Rosa today. I've been when we first started and I had a little look at Radisson Blue. Villa Toledo, that's the one. <laughs> well done, Diana. There you go, Diana knows. Villa Toledo, that's the name of that restaurant. Look lovely. So we came through this little gate here. We're just coming up to it. And that's where we started, right at the Radisson Blue. So it's been worthwhile doing the, doing the live here in Costa de Guise. I don't know whether I'll go live again soon um, because it's one of them places, like I keep saying, I have to keep swapping and changing uh, the view. So I think we'll stick to Porta del Carmen and uh, Playa Blanca more for the lives because it's constant traffic of, of um, places to look at and stuff. And then we'll also do some other walks in the villages. So what I'll do is I'll, tend to, I'll try and get up to like Harrier and places like that um, because they're sort of walking around in a square, if that makes sense. So plenty of things that you can see. Hang on, I came through here before and now it's saying it's private. I do hope I can walk through here. Yeah, I can. <laughs> I can. There we go. Straight through the gate. So that's a little shortcut for you that takes you up to the Radisson. <sighs> would, would love to see a live in PDC. I usually do a live every morning on a Sunday from PDC. So I reckon I'll be that way maybe next week. Uh, might do Porto Calero. I might walk from Porto Calero through the rocky bits um, into Porto del Carmen and then get the taxi boat back. That could be a pretty cool live. Maybe we'll do that next week. I'd have to take Jack with me just in case I fell over. <laughs> just in case I fell over on the rocks. <laughs> I was left there for days. Mind you, if I fell over... You lot would uh, you lot would be able to message Mrs. Travel on, wouldn't you? And so I think he's I think he's fallen down the cliff. Call the SOS. Morning, you're right. There's a little bar around this area here. So this is the Player Bastion area. Right, we're doing that next week. Then I reckon we're walking from. Uh, let me think. We'll walk, we'll do a walk in Port del Carmen Old Town. We'll get the little taxi boat over to Port Calero, walk around Port Calero, and then we'll walk back to Port del Carmen through the uh, coastline. How does that sound? Sounds like a, sounds like a plan. Maybe I'll, take the, maybe I'll take Mrs. Travel on and the boys as well. We can all do it. But I don't think they're going to want to get up early on a Sunday. Bloody hell. They're off, look, on the bike ride. These are nice little apartments, look. I think these are more residential. I'll tell you what, listen. Well, listen, look. You see what I see, look? The sun 
he's coming out look look at that we're all right i just felt it burn the back of my head then the sun is coming out do you see that blue sky look peeking through the